Today in the Pedal Vault, the Ibanez SM7 Smashbox. The Ibanez Smashbox is part of their Tone Lock series that was introduced in the late 90s, early 2000s. And it's uh, made in China effects with a plastic housing and why it's called Tone Lock because you can dial your knobs in and then lock them so they won't get screwed when you have a gig. I think that's a really cool feature. I don't know why other companies don't make those. Maybe it's too complicated, but yeah. So apart from this special feature, we have four control knobs and two switches. We have drive, low, high EQ and a level. Then we have a void, might be a mid switch. And we have edge, sharp and smooth. So let's see how the curve looks. They feel actually really cheap. Maybe that's the case. Okay, so this is interesting. We have plateau, then we have kind of shelf, central 2.2k, and here we have a huge dip at 10k. The level doesn't seem to affect the curve so low. Centered at 114. High seems to be a shelf with the 5.5k. I don't really like this peak, but well, we'll find out. So the, this seems to be the mids at 960. Now when we switch from smooth to sharp. Okay. Huh. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's actually funny. Uh, okay. Okay, void. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Let's... Gain doesn't affect the curve at all, but let's crank everything. Huh. So either it's malfunctioning or it is something that we can't see on the EQ curve. But we'll find about that in the actual audio comparison. <laughs>
I really like the design of this tone lock series. I really like that you can basically hide the poties so that they don't get turned when you have this pedal on your pedal board. And uh, the metal housing, it's really sturdy. <sighs> Sound wise, however, wasn't this impressed. I think it's a decent distortion pedal in front of your clean amp. However, um, I especially like distortion pedals as boost pedals and most of the distortion pedals that I try as boost pedals really deliver and uh, really have a unique tone. <sighs> this one, however, doesn't. Um, it's rather generic or too digital sounding and it also doesn't boost as much as I would have liked it to boost and therefore it's just not my taste. Maybe maybe it's your taste, it's, it's not mine. The sharp and smooth uh, switch is okay. The void switch, I haven't really found out what it actually does. Maybe if I, I can't hear it. So that's my verdict. I can definitely recommend the Tone Lock series if you want sturdy pedals, but this pedal, not so much. I most probably will sell it unless you guys tell me in the comment section how I should use this pedal. And tell me also in the comment section what do you think of this pedal. We'll end with this set. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe check out my Instagram account. May the force be with you and have a nice day.